Today, we're going to use the app ArtRage to create our Hokusai inspired landscape. I'm going to start by going to the menu button and selecting create new painting. The picture that pops up is not yours. You need to create a new painting. Tap on the top where it says name and then delete what is written there and type in your name. Type your name onto your paper and then tap done at the top corner. I am now going to put two fingers on the screen and zoom out my picture just a little bit so I can see all of my edges. The tool that we are using is the art pen. It is this one right here in the middle. Once I have selected it, I'm going to go down to the settings for the art pen and make sure art pen is turned on. Then I'm going to adjust my size to somewhere in the middle. Your size should be in the middle and art pen should be turned on. I'm going to go over to the color palette and choose black. It does not matter what color it is as long as you go all the way to the bottom and select black. I am now going to start by drawing my wave on my paper. Go carefully and slowly. Curve your line in to a point and then curve it back out. It may take you a couple tries to get this right and that's okay. Sometimes art takes practice. I'm gonna put a little baby one down at the bottom. Got my mommy wave and my baby wave. And I'm gonna add some extra lines onto the bigger one. Let's do one more coming out of the middle there, going all the way to the edge of the paper. Let's put one going between the two lines. And let's do one across the top so it's overlapping. Let's squeeze it in there, that looks good. And then one across the bottom. I am now going to start working on the sky. We're going to draw a sunset because we live in Florida. We have lots of sunsets over the ocean. So we're going to draw a sunset. I'm going to start by drawing the sun. I'm going to draw two circles for the sun. And then I'm going to make squiggly lines or curvy lines coming out from the circle to be the lines for the sunset. So I'm going to make this look really nice. I'm going to add lots of squiggle lines coming from the sun to the edge of the paper going in different directions. Make sure you get them connecting. All your lines should touch either the edge of the paper or they should touch each other. That looks good. Now I'm gonna to switch tools and I'm gonna tap on the toolbar, go to the top and select the paint bucket. I'm gonna use a paint bucket to add the color to my picture. I'm gonna go back over to my palette and I'm gonna choose blue. Remember you have to move both dots to get the color to show up. I'm going to get a nice blue to start with. We are not going to paint the water all the same color. You should use maybe three or four different colors for your water. There's lots of different kinds of blues to choose from. Use a variety of blues to make your water look more interesting. Make sure you tap all of those spaces to fill them in. Then I'm going to move on to the sunset. I'm going to start with yellow. Now get a nice yellow. That looks good. Let's go a little more. Let's see. That looks good. A little too orange, that's perfect. I'm going to zoom in with my fingers to make sure I'm tapping in the right spot. Then I can tap around the sun, coloring in, uh-oh. That went into two spaces, not just one. Looks like I did not connect my line to the edge of my paper. I'm going to hit undo at the bottom. I'm going to switch back to my art pen. I'm going to get black ink again. Make sure you change your color to black. And I'm going to connect the line to the edge of the paper. Now, when I go back to the paint bucket, and I get my yellow paint again, and when I tap that space, it should only stay in that one space, not spill into the next space. You have to connect your lines, so that way the color only stays in the one space and doesn't spill into all of the other spaces. Oh no! I tapped on the line with my color. If you tap the black line with the paint bucket, it will color the line and change it. So you just have to hit undo and then zoom in maybe a little bit so that way you don't accidentally tap it with your finger. Continue to add red and orange around the outside of the sun. And uh oh, I did it again. Let me make sure I hit undo and I'm going to zoom in so I can, uh oh, I did it again. Okay, there we go. Oh, I missed a spot. There's a tiny little spot right there that I missed. I'm gonna make sure I get the right color, match it up, and that looks good. When you are all done, you're gonna go back to the menu button at the top and click Save Painting. Then you are finished with your picture. 